there was a warning at the trailhead saying, do not enter the black hole. The line from Michael Kelsey was that the canyon is passable. Tru- you know, trust me. So I was sort of left in this conundrum. But in the end, I, uh, you know, said, yeah, let's do it. I believe you. So uh, we went. My name is uh, Jeremy Miller. I am a contributor to My Country News. I live just outside of New York City. Michael Kelsey is an interesting character. Uh, to me, he is a, uh, an author that introduced me through his uh, Colorado Plateau guidebook series to the canyons of southeast Utah. People have accused him of um, revealing secrets of the desert. And in a lot of ways, his books get criticized because they're not up to date. They contain errors, and, and those errors are related to sort of the ephemeral nature of the canyons themselves. Before we went into the black hole, I, the day before we had done Blue John Canyon, which, which is a, a technical canyon, you know, I had seen his ability. He's a careful, conscientious sort of hiker dropping down in. There's another sign that reiterated the BLM warning, you know, do not enter the black hole, and we ignored that. And we eventually worked ourselves into a spot where there's a, a rope. The, the, the rope was frayed a little bit, and we checked out the rope, and that, that dropped down into 10, 15-foot defile. We tested the rope, and he, he thought it was good, so and down we went. I dropped into the pool, and uh, it was freezing cold. Once the initial shock of the cold water wore off, it turned into a, uh, a really fun adventure. He, he didn't start doing a lot of this technical canyoneering until his, uh, until his 60s. So it was really interesting to see him do, you know, doing these demanding things in the canyons. Uh, there weren't too many obstacles that, that I saw that gave him <laughs> too many problems. You know, I was sort of struggling up over some of these things, and he was you know, sort of like Spider-Man, kind of clinging to the walls. One of his idiosyncrasies in his books is to have pictures of himself uh, in various places. I found myself sort of walking next to him, photographing him, and uh, it was kind of interesting, you know. It was sort of like being in one of his uh, guidebooks. I sort of read his books in the same way that, uh, you know, I read John Wesley Powell or something like that. I've been out east for a long time, and, I, you know, I, I feel like my psyche is sort of divided between the, the, the halves of the country. Kelsey's books have been a way for me to kind of physically stay in contact with the landscape of the West. <laughs>